Still 16 seconds on the clock. No time expired. Golson fires, and they get it down to the 38-yard line. Wilson with the catch. Wilson's 10 seconds to go, and they burn a timeout. From here, 55, 56. Yep. 38 17. Yeah, that's a 55 yarder. Within his range. Do you, do you run one more play here no. and then trot him out? No. It's too risky. Think about this. If you run a play and you don't get out of bounds, you got a problem. You, you, you won't even get the attempt. Right now, you know you have an attempt. Now, this tells you something about how much Fisher trusts Golson. If he runs a play here, uh -huh. he really, truly believes that Golson will quickly make that decision and get rid of the ball and not take a sack. What anything. kind of play fits that profile? It can what only be, it's got to be a sideline. got to be an out. Okay. you got to get rid of it quickly. Let's see what they run. If you get a first down, there's no guarantee you can actually get the clock stopped and get your field on the team. got to get down, right? Yeah. You got to assume that his receivers got that message too. On third and six, Colson throws to the sideline, incomplete. So now, Aguayo will presumably get his opportunity. Rudolph, the intended receiver, it appeared to hit him in the hands. And a look at Aguayo, Roberto Aguayo, the 6'1 junior, has never missed a fourth quarter kick. This will be a 56-yarder. His career long is from 53. From the left hash to remain unbeaten and perhaps a player in the college football playoff and the 29th consecutive conference win. Blocked! Snuffed! Rubbed out! Erased! And Georgia Tech with an opportunity! Austin! Still on his feet. One man. You can't believe what just happened. What a time to be alive. Austin recovered the loose block and scampered, bolted, escaped, eluded every Seminole on the pitch. 78 yards for the winning touchdown. When you think you've seen it all, you really haven't. Let's go downstairs to Quinn with Coach. Coach, how do you best explain that last play? Well, it was our turn. We've had so many this year that have gone the other way. I'm just so proud of our guys. They fought and fought and fought. We made a lot of mistakes, but we fought the whole game and came back and found a way. What was the mindset of the team? You lose five straight. This game starts kind of going bad late. It's just a great opportunity. You've got a top 10 team in your house. Go out and have some fun and play hard, and our guys did that. What do you think made the difference in the fourth quarter? I don't know. Our whole team played well. Defensively, we, we played the run so much better. And what about this scene, Coach? What's this like for you? That's what it's all about. That's college football. Congratulations. Thanks, Quint. And, Rod, it's like Coach Johnson said. It was our time. Previously, these kinds of scenes have gone the other way. 
And let's take one more look. This is the first fourth quarter miss ever by Aguayo, the field goal kicker. Well, just start with the notion of it being a heads-up play that the Georgia Tech players were all in and just didn't celebrate. That ball gets picked up and brought back, but watch the block. And it's not just Austin returning. Watch the block down here by Chris Milton, number six, that really kind of opened up the way at the end. You got eight, nine Georgia Tech players all invested in that last play instead of just celebrating the block. They were trying to win the game. That's the mark of a winner. That's a team that's been frustrated by being two and five, looking at possibly not making a bowl game, and they knocked off the top 10 team. Paul Johnson seemed to be just waving off Austin saying just get down or something <laughs> and then he kind of backed up. Did you see that? Yeah. No, no, no. Keep no, going. No, keep no. going. Yes. <laughs> wow. And what a scene here at Bobby Dodge Stadium. An improbable, implausible, unbelievable ending in Florida State's first loss of the season. What did we say earlier? When you shake a hornet's nest, <laughs> yeah. no telling who might get stung. And the Seminoles got stung tonight. What an ending. 22-16, Yellow Jackets win it against the Seminoles. Coming up next, it's College Football Scoreboard. For Rod Gilmore and Quinn Kessenick, I'm Mark Jones. Folks, thanks for watching. As I said earlier a moment ago, what a time to be alive. Good night from Atlanta.